Hi, I'm Dr. Lorraine Corvo, veterinarian here at the Purdue Primary Care Service at the Purdue Veterinary Hospital, associated, of course, with Purdue University. Most experts and veterinarians agree that when the temperature gets below 20 degrees, really all pets should come inside. Um, but even when you've got short-haired dogs, um, older animals, young animals where they can't thermoregulate as well, maybe 40 degrees is really the more appropriate temperature to bring your pet inside. Now, not always can we bring our animals inside, and we understand that, but then we need to provide appropriate shelter for them. And so that might include you know, some kind of enclosure that's off the ground, very important, um, and some kind of bedding inside, like straw or hay, that's gonna help keep them warm. And then remember, bigger isn't always better. It takes a lot more time to heat up an area that's bigger versus an area that's smaller. So a smaller kind of dog house might be more appropriate for them. The other thing that we tend to see is that um, the water freezes, and so for making sure that we provide appropriate fresh water for them that isn't frozen, so using those heated water bowls can be very helpful. In our cars, we'll talk a little about antifreeze because antifreeze is a toxicity that we worry about in cold weather. Unfortunately, antifreeze for our pets tastes sweet, and so they like licking it up. Now, there are some pet-friendly ones that taste yucky, um, but it doesn't mean that they don't do the same damage to the kidneys that we see. And so making sure that any kind of antifreeze spills, you rinse off really, really well um, into kind of like a stone gravel area and then maybe cover it up with dirt so there's no chances that any licking can kind of happen. Um, but if you do think that your pet has licked antifreeze, time is of the essence and you need to get them to an emergency veterinarian right away. With kitty cats, like this guy here, um, our cats that are outside, they like to stay warm too. And unfortunately, they like warm car engines. So they like to get up under the hood after you've turned off your car because it's nice and toasty warm for them. So if your car's outside and you're getting ready to go out for the day, um, make sure you kind of pound on that hood a little bit so that any critter that might be up in there um, jumps out and leaves um, because obviously there's burns that can happen, but really the fan belts is what kind of swings around and can cause some really serious injuries and lacerations to these guys. So keeping your pet healthy in the winter time, keeping them warm, bringing them in, providing shelter, water, and making sure that nothing's hiding under your hood can help these guys stay safe in the winter.